Hi Amanda, it's Mark Kent here, Twin Falls, Volkswagen, Twin Falls, Idaho. I like to do these videos once you can see the vehicle you're looking at, but also to introduce myself, put a face to a name to the words that you see on your computer there. Um, but here it is, it's our 2012 uh, Toyota um, 4Runner. I think it looks great. I always preface my vi uh, videos with all of our vehicles go through a extent extensive inspection process. We average $1,300 per unit on what they call uh, reconditioning. Um, some need more or less than others, you know, so I, I like to tell people that we just don't dump them on the lot. We make sure they're up to our satisfaction here. Um, but I also like to say, especially on vehicles like this, t over 10 years old with high miles, they don't go through and replace everything. They'd rather make sure it's got a good transmission, good engine versus fixing some ding on the side or <clears throat> some cosmetic thing. Or if there's a DVD player, they, they wouldn't want to make sure... They wouldn't spend any money making sure that stuff works. It's all a matter of opinion at that point. And so that, that's something that leaves it up to you if you want to move forward. I, I understand. Um, but I wouldn't want you to relay on my opinion of the vehicle because I'm not the one paying for it. So I think it looks great, but you do what you want. But I'll walk around it. I mean, the tires look good. I mean, if they're not brand new, they're pretty close. Wheels look good on the side. There's not like a bunch of curb rash on the side of them either. Um... There's your engine. I'm no mechanic, but it looks good to me. Sounds good. I mean, it, the biggest thing going for it, it is a Toyota. So, I mean, they've been known to last a while. I think it looks good for a 12. I thought it was newer than this when it was sitting here. But, again, my opinion, your money. And it's okay if you want to move forward or not. <laughs> Limited. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything weird cosmetically. I mean, maybe this is flaking a little bit. I mean, not flaking, but you see it's crinkling a little bit, but I've seen that on everything. Oh, there's a little tiny, tiny ding, I guess. A little dent. But, I mean, you have to be looking for it. That looks good. I mean, as you just see, there's this little of this stuff. Just stuff loaded in. I mean, I don't know what you're looking for, but again, they consider the miles and the year. Sometimes with some vehicles, you're like, you're lucky they lasted this long. <laughs> I've seen a lot of crap cars come through here, but this one looks pretty good. So yeah, I mean, a little bit of the wear and tear on the seat. You can see that. I mean, it's just as expected as you're sliding in. Does have a sunroof. Yeah, a little bit of fade right there on the seat. This is what happens with leather. No, it look, looks, looks good, man. I mean, I, I'm, I don't keep cars longer than like 10, 15,000 miles, so it's just foreign to me to uh, consider a car with, there you are, 169,773. Okay, you got your Bluetooth. Let's see that here. Let's see, I don't even know how to open these. There we go. Make sure that works. We had a Kia Sportage in here and the sunroof didn't work and the shades were all gummed up in here and it was like a $1,500 fix. So we didn't, it was an older one, it wasn't worth fixing, so we sent it off to wholesale. So that, that's the kind of stuff, there's a fine line when they get older. It's like, do we keep it and recondition and sell it or do we send it off and let someone else deal with it? So the fact that made the, the front line of our dealership is a, a good sign. So I'll, I'll send this over. Um, as far as meeting you, yeah, we can. It'd be a small fee to it to make it easier for you. We just have a driver meet you with it. But uh, let's make sure you like this first so we can talk further. But I'll send it over. Thanks for watching.